start hello everyone today i am here to discuss about the basic concepts of phonetics phonetics is a topic which has always been a matter of great concern for the students so here i dr sonia soni from pg department of english rapg college is here to discuss some of the basic some of the very easy concepts uh, to discuss transcriptions or phonetics which would be very beneficial for the students of graduation should we start so let's say first of all let me discuss what is phonetics phonetics is actually the study of sound it is not how to uh, translate the things into english it is how to produce correct english how to produce correct words it is on the basic concept of pronunciation so phonetics is the study of sound so let me tell you my dear friends it is the somerset village of great britain which accented the standard language accent of phonetics or transcription daniel jones was the first scientist who produced some 44 symbols and phonetics is the study of these 44 symbols right now what are these 44 symbols that we will read later on so rp sound basically we are going to read rp sound system rp sound system means received pronunciation sound system and this sound system is actually known as phoneme phonemes in hindi means varn varn kya jisko aap further divide nahi kar sakte which you cannot divide further right which you cannot which cannot be subparted that is known as phoneme and if you will ask me ki ma'am what is the detailed definition of phoneme so i would like to tell you that it is the minimal distinctive contrast language specific and meaning changing unit which is realized when we study its abstract form right it will help you to know what is the correct pronunciation of any particular word the word which i am pronouncing is pronunciation so most of the students they even say pronunciation which is correct which is not correct so i am going to teach you ki how we can learn these things in a better way now uh, i am rubbing all these things and moving towards our practical part just give me a second now but now my dear friends uh, as i discussed there are 44 sounds 44 sounds and these 44 sounds can be divided into two parts first one is vowel sounds and second one is consonant sounds right these 44 sounds can be divided into two parts vowel sounds and consonant sounds now there are 20 vowel sounds and there are 24 consonant sounds there are five vowels which are a e i o u but the sounds are 20 and here lies all the difficulties and here lies all the complexities vowel sounds as i have told you earlier a e i o u these are five vowels but sounds are 20 so confusion hona is very very natural right vowel sounds are those sounds which can be produced without obstruction jisko bolte waqt there is no obstruction and consonant sounds rest of the sounds they are consonant sounds which cannot be produced without obstruction aap isko bolenge to definitely there will be obstruction in that now first of all we would like to start with consonant sounds jaisa ki maine aapko bola there are 24 consonant sounds ab wo kon kon si hoti hain let me tell you in detail uh, i'm going to rub this yes so now there are 24 consonant sounds so let's see first one is p sound of p which would be translated into english as this p dear friends please be vigilant you have to put the sounds into slash otherwise that would be only an alphabet if you will not put into slashes it will not be a sound to make an alphabet a sound these slashes are very very important right so first sound is p second sound is t next is k ch sound of ch it is bit different sound of ch this is sound of l uh, now see you have to use only this line 
no like this neither like that right it will only be lo single straight line lo right next sound is ma mm, let me make it more clear for you sound of ma that is sound of na right next is sound of so sound of sh long s there is a difference between this s and this s this is sound of sh sh shalgam this is sound of s right next one is sound of f right sound of the right sound of uh, next sound is sound of th right next is sound of d d damru sound of d now there is a difference between this and this sound it is bit slanting right d next is sound of b sound of h right you can notice that i'm only saying sound of i'm not saying word i'm just saying sound right next is sound of g gamla g sound of g right next is sound of r this is sound of r now again be very very vigilant note this r and not this only this kind of r right right you cannot use these two r only that right next is sound of y university so this is the symbol of y this j is the symbol of y now i have disclosed several sounds to you let me remind it again this is sound of p which is very simple t again simple k now sound of ch it is bit different sound of ch is bit different l same m same no again same so again same sure long so it is also different to learn for pen sound of for the again it is different you have to put extra efforts to learn the sound of th theta right again it is different the similar same b b h h and this is not h this is h g g r same y again it is different so these are three or four sounds which are bit difficult or different rather i would say different to learn you have to put extra attention to learn them now we are moving towards diff, uh, another uh, stage of learning consonants for this i have to remove it i have to rub it and move a bit further just give me a second now these were one sound and one symbol now we are we going to read one singular sound and multiple symbols right so first symbol that we going to read is ch sound of j so my dear friends there are three symbols for the sound of j which can be divided like this first symbol first second and third symbol so there are three symbols for the sound of j now you would wonder ki where do we use this one where we use this one and where do we use that one so that thing i'm going to make clear right now so my dear friends if there is a sound of j in spelling or there comes j and g we will use this sound this symbol for example judge judge so there is a sound of j and in spelling we are having j so how do i write it how do i write it j a uh, j judge so the transcription of this particular word would be this jam sound of j is there and in spelling we are having j so how how i would write it jam 
right jug how do i write it j this is a symbol of a and g jug right so j sound of j is there and in spelling we are having j and g so then we would use this kind of symbol is that clear so now we are moving towards the next one if the sound of j is there but in spelling we are having i o n and u r e right in spelling we are having i o n and u r e so here we would use this kind of symbol for example vision so sound of j is there but in spelling we are having i o n so i would say v j no vision right next the key pleasure ple j so j sound is there but in spelling we are having u r e right so i have used this kind of j is that clear so now we are moving towards the last symbol of j that is z so if the sound of j is there but there is no g there is no j there is no i o n there is no u r e so rest of the spellings will take this kind of symbol rest of the spellings will take this symbol am i clear i am sure quite sure you must be aware of this fact now now i am moving towards the next symbol uh, again i need to rub it that is the symbol of symbol of v symbol of v so my dear friends we can divide the symbol of v into two parts right the first one is v and the second one is j am i clear so if the sound of v is there but in spelling we are having v then we will use this symbol jaise ki abhi thodi der pehle we have used vision right um in the j portion we have used vision so sound of v is there v is there and spelling we are having vision v i s i o n so then we will use this this kind of symbol right next is uh, if the sound of v is there but in spelling we don't don't have v then we are supposed to use this symbol for example win win right this is the transcription of win sound of v is there but in spelling we are having w so we would transcribe it as win right so this is difference let me repeat it again if sound of v is there but we are having v in spelling we would use the symbol and rest will take the symbol of t right so uh, the next symbol next consonant symbol uh, and the last one also is ang ang jisko aap hindi mein you say ang ki bindu wala ang symbol of ang this symbol ang right you will make an n and then longify it right for example king sing sink etc etc for example king king so this is symbol of i sing sink right so this is a symbol of ang jahan pe ang ki sound aati hai so these were our consonant simple sing, uh, symbols let me revise it again quickly very quickly symbol of p t k l m n s f b d h d j g sh s th y aur r right uske baad there were three symbols of j and two symbols of v and one last symbol of ang so that was the concept of sounds of consonants now we are moving towards sounds of vowels that is the next step of our chapter vowel sounds right so vowel sounds uh, can be divided into two parts first one is monophthong and the second one is diphthong 
vowel sounds as we have discussed earlier are 20. There are 20 vowel sounds which can be divided into two parts. First part is mono thong and diff thongs. Right? Mono means single and di means two. Thong means sound. Right? Mono thong which is made up of single sound and single symbol. Diphthong is which is the combination of two things. Right? So there are 12 mono thongs. 12. And rest 8 are diphthongs. Is that clear? Now what are these 12 mono thongs that we will read right now? Mono thongs are also known as pure vowels. Right? Pure vowels. One sound, one symbol. Pure vowels. And they are also known as impure vowels. Impure vowels. Uh, just keep this in mind that we are studying very basic concepts of phonetics, right? If you want that we should proceed further on for some advanced uses of these transcriptions, I can make a, make a different video for that. But now, just basic concepts. So, as I have discussed, there are 12 monothongs. So, first one is first one is the sound of e. Buddy E. Then this one is the middle one and this one is the smaller one. Long E. Right? E. If you say heat, you just, everybody, just a bit heat. There is a long sound of E. Right? So how I would transcribe it? Heat. Right? Seat. S E T. Seed, long sound. And if I say hit, this is smaller in comparison to that. So I would say hit. Sit, I would say sit. Right? And this is we use at the ending, for example, happy. Happy, right? So last sound is sound of E. And one more thing, if there is repetition of alphabet, we will only write it once, right? So how I would write it? H, P, happy. Is that clear? So this is the, the smallest one. Long, middle and the smallest one, right? Next, we, we are moving towards sound of A. Uh, this is symbol like you will make a flower like this right symbol of a and this is the symbol of a right if there is a in the spelling you are supposed to use this if there is e in the spelling you are supposed to use this jaisa ki thodi pehle i have discussed happy right so this is h symbol of h symbol of a spelling me this is a this is symbol of p and i happy Right? If I say 10, this is symbol of E. 10. Is that clear? Fen. Fen. This is symbol, oh, sorry. This is symbol of Fen. Right? Symbol of, if, how do we pronounce men in English? Like this. Men. Right? And uh, this is for E. Sound of E. Right? F den. Right? O is there, but in spelling E is there. So we, we would use this kind of symbol. Now we are moving towards the next one, next symbol. This is symbol of O. Symbol of O. See? This is the longer sound and this is shorter. If you are having dots after any symbol, definitely it would be a longer sound, right? So it's quite natural. If, uh, how do we write force? Force, right? So, this is symbol of F and longer O and S. Force. Force. We don't say force. We say force, right? There is no symbol of R here. Force, longer sound. Course. Course. This is a symbol of K, O, S course right and if i say hot this is shorter one in comparison to this one hot 
right caught caught right so this one is longer o and this one is shorter force coarse torch hot shot caught this is a symbol of smaller o next we are moving towards another symbol that is symbol of u so this one is longer u bada u and this one is shorter this one is longer and this one is shorter right if i say cool aap khud boliye you 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 pronounce it cool it's longer sound k u l cool right fool f u l fool right and if i say should should this is symbol of sh u and d should right good g u d this is symbol of good one very interesting fact which you would might not be knowing is that how do we pronounce wool up we all say wool which is wrong which is completely wrong what is the symbol of wool how do we pronounce it wool this is not wool this is wool and if we pronounce it wrong we will write it wrong right so this is not wool this is wool and symbol which is used here is this one the smaller one right next one is sound of a uh. sound of a uh. right a uh. for example father father just see for a uh, the father this is a symbol of a uh, father right farm farm me farm fa a uh, m that is a symbol of a uh, farm next one is symbol of a uh. i am quite sure you must be confident about it now symbol of a uh. there are three symbols of a uh. first one is the longer second one is the middle one and third one is sure that is the smaller one for example if i write birth how do we write birth the symbol of b a th symbol of th birth not birth birth math how do we write math m a th math up when you will pronounce it up khud hi feel karenge it is a longer one right next one is symbol of a uh, middle one if i say cup symbol of k a uh, p cup right symbol of cup if i say mm, uh, how do we use this this symbol right the last one for example father for symbol of the and a uh, smallest sound very smallest right we hardly speak it that is a symbol of a uh, right um luxury luxury how do i write it l a uh, k luck shri luxury luck shri right so uh, if i say alert right alert alert how do we i write it a l a t alert is it clear um uh, transcriptions we all know that it needs a lot of practice it needs time it needs dedication to learn all these things but uh, sometimes it is very difficult to get all the knowledge on one platform so i have tried to comprise the things for you so that you uh, feel better you feel more confident to learn all these things now the last thing which we gonna take up now these were all 12 symbols were all vowel symbols pure symbols now i'm moving towards the last portion of my lecture that is diphthong uh, eight symbols are there and we call it impure vowels i know that it is very difficult to comprise all these things in 30 or 40 minutes but it was my first sincere effort 
to make you understand as actually ki what they actually are right it, you must get familiar with the symbols at least and we can uh, study them in detail in future if we wish right so the last topic of my discussion today is diphthongs i'm going to rub this and now let's concentrate on the eight symbols of diphthongs right so first symbol of diphthong is a for example if i say play 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 right the wrong mixture of two sounds right station stay a and shun this is the symbol of shun ready made symbol of station railway see re rail way railway rail way so this is a symbol of a now the next symbol symbol of i first one next one is symbol of i if i say my my right if i say fight 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 kite kite is that clear so this is a symbol of i now the next symbol is ue okay symbol of ue third symbol u and a let's see u and a right sure sure sh u a we don't say it sure right sure very very small sound very small sound poor poor u poor pure pure symbol of u and then u and then a pure right so three symbols we have already discussed now let me move towards the four, fourth symbol that is air air a a right um for example share 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 repair re pay right so this is a symbol of a now we are left with only four symbols that we will read right now let me remove it let me clear it for you and only four symbols are left of diphthong right so the next one the fifth one is e right e a next symbol is e a fear clear fear fear clear 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 dear this is symbol of d or dear right sixth one last third one is oi symbol of oi o e oi for example boy how do we write it b o o i boy joy joy lick uh, see j sound of joy is there and in spelling they are having j joy right next symbol is symbol of a o a o hero here hero hero here hero right hero we we normally call it hero but that is not hero that is hero zero jisko we call zero how do we write it in english in pronunciation correct zero 
right so this is a symbol of eu this was the seventh symbol now last but not least uh, symbol of au right uh, house for example au house right how do we write it ha au so symbol of house right next if i say mouse m au s mouse now a uh, sing singular form of house is house but when we convert it into plural that become houses houses right how how this right it is not houses it is houses right so that was the symbol of au so my dear friends with that we have completed the symbols of consonants the symbols of vowels in vowels we have completed 12 pure vowels and 8 impure vowels that are diphthongs so it was my sincere effort to make you aware that how do we start transcriptions how we can recognize symbol how we can take our first step i know it is very very difficult to learn all these things in one shot but at least we have to try somehow because english is a lingua franca language right you cannot run away from it and speaking english is not enough we have to speak it correctly we have to learn the correct pronunciation and i am quite sure ki with these um, rules with these basic rules of transcriptions you would be able to learn it in a better way now uh, if you wish we can make a detailed uh, video of this this topic again in future but for now let me take your leave and thank you very much and take care and stay safe and stay healthy thank you very much have a nice